you need to become a public speaker. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm speaking to you in public. I'm here in a Starbucks recording this, but that's not really what I mean. What I mean is you need to get up in front of people and speak, deliver a message. I go to a Las Vegas public speaking group and each week we get to get up and give a message of one to five minutes and practice speaking in front of real people. It's very different than practicing in your home, talking to your mirror or talking to your wall or talking to your phone. When you speak in front of people, it's a very different experience. Your mind goes blank like mine did at the beginning today and you have to learn how to make eye contact with people. So it's a very good experience. And the reason that I'm doing it is to learn how to become a better speaker so I can deliver a message that is understood by my audience. And the reason that I'm doing that is to create better videos for my business. You need video, I need video, we all need videos for our business. In this digital day and age, people want to know you. They want to watch videos of you speaking. And if you don't speak well, and you don't communicate your message clearly, then they're off to the next channel. So I don't want that to happen. I want people to see my videos and say, hey, I really like this guy, Wayne, and I want to work with him. So I'm going to include my five minute speech that I did here in this video so you can watch it. It's not perfect, but it's another, it's another run. It's another um, try at doing better. And that's what it takes. It takes lots and lots of practice. You know, when you see people like Tony Robbins or um, any big well-known public speaker, they've delivered that message over and over and over. The best speeches aren't written once, they're rewritten and rewritten and tweaked and fine-tuned. And that's what you need to do with your message. You need to get it refined. And that's what I'm doing. My message today is about being open to change and learning new skills so you can reinvent yourself. I've done that many times over my career. So go ahead and have a listen, watch the video, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks. We have a king of the king of the headshots here. Come on with me, oh. Wallace. <laughs> I'm Thank you, sir. All right, most photographers would come up here and say, look at all my pretty pictures. I'm great, hire me. I could do that too, but I have something much more important to talk about today, and that's your business. I'm going to share with you what I'm doing to reinvent myself in my business, and maybe you want to do the same thing. If you want to see my pretty pictures, you can go to thekingofheadshots.com later and check them out. But I want to talk to you today about being open to change, learning new skills, so you can stay relevant in your industry. Many of you know me as a photographer, but I wasn't always a photographer. Back in high school, I went to a vocational technical school and I learned drafting as a trade. My friends learned how to be auto mechanic and carpenter, but I took drafting as a trade, and I learned how to do technical drawings with pencil and paper. And then I went off into the engineering world, and I had a full career in the engineering industry, but I never touched a pencil and paper ever again. I used computer-aided drafting and design, or CAD for short, for 15 years. I used a program called AutoCAD. I became a master at it. I even learned how to program it in C++ to make it more productive. Then my company took a nosedive, and I thought, hmm, I'll call Autodesk and see if I can get a job with them. 
So I called Autodesk. They hired me over the phone, and they moved me to Northern California and tripled my salary. But it didn't happen by accident. I had to learn new skills to stay relevant in my industry. And everything was great until change was forced upon me. The dot-com bubble burst. The World Trade Center was attacked, and I got laid off. And I had to make a decision at that point. Do I stay in the industry that I'm in, or do I go do something completely different? So I thought back to high school, and another class that I took was photography. And I was in the dark room making prints. How many of you have done that? So you know what I'm talking about. It's a very memorable experience. So I, I thought how drafting had gone from pencil and paper to computer over this 20 year period. And I thought the photography industry had not changed in 85 years. It was based on film. And I thought the photography industry is gonna go through this same change. It's gonna go from film to digital. Now look at these cell phones that we have. They're amazing cameras, video cameras. So now I'm in the next reinvention phase of myself and my business. That's why I'm up in front of you speaking today because I wanna learn how to become a better public speaker. Why, because I wanna become a speaker? No, because the trend right now is video marketing and personal branding. People don't buy from logos, they buy from people. So I'm learning how to become a better public speaker so I can make better videos for my business and get more attention. That's what I encourage you to do. So I've got a special gift for all of you today. I've got 10 top ideas for you to improve your social media marketing. And I wanna give them to you. But I don't have time to give them to you right now. So what you need to do is take out your phone and text the word digital to the number 444-999. And I'll send you my top 10 ideas to improve your social media marketing today. In addition to that, I'm gonna send you weekly tips and advice on how to use photos and videos to improve your business marketing online. And there's one more bonus that you'll get if you sign up for my list and you stay on it. Every month, I choose one person to win a headshot session with me, the king of headshots. So do it now. Take out your phone and text the word digital to 444-999.